curate options in lead type lets you specify how the entitled lead gets allocated to an employee based on their date of joining or exit. In this video, we will focus on the modes of prorating lead when we configure a lead type in Zoho People. To prorate lead, start by going to the lead tab, click settings, go to lead type, click plus add to add a new lead policy. Enter the basic details of the lead policy such as name, type and validity. Under entitlement, enter approval, let's say yearly on the 1st of January and reset as yearly last day on December. Next, under prorate approval, you will find four modes that can be used. Let's look at each of these modes in detail. Start of policy. When this option is enabled, the entitled leave will be prorated for an employee who joins after the accrual date. As per our setting, if the employee joins, let's say in July, then this leave will be prorated for the current year. From the following years, the leave will be credited fully on the set date of accrual start and end of policy. When this option is enabled, the entitled leave will be prorated when the employee joins or leaves after the set accrual date. Do not prorate. When this option is enabled, the full entitled leave will be credited to the employee irrespective of when they join the organization. Disable the prorate option. If the prorate accrual option is disabled, then the employee who joins after the set accrual date will not receive any of the entitled leave for that year and will only receive it on the next accrual date. Let's now look at the four options through an example to understand how the entitlement varies. In this scenario, we have set 28 days of leave to be credited yearly on the 1st of January. Let us now see how leave is prorated in each mode for an employee who has joined on the 1st of July in 2020 and who exits on the 31st of March in 2022. Under start of policy, they will receive 14 days of prorated leave for the remaining six months in the current year. In the forthcoming years, they will receive the full 28 days. Under start and end of policy, leave will be prorated on the year of joining and exit. In 2020, they will receive 14 days for the remaining six months. In 2021, receive 28 days. And since they exit on March 2022, they will receive 9.33 days for the three months of that year. Under Do Not Prorate, the employee will receive all the 28 days for all the years irrespective of their date of joining or exit. If the Prorate Accrual option is disabled, they will not receive any leave for the year of joining and then will receive all 28 days for the consecutive years. Hope this video was useful. Stay tuned for more. Thank you.